So how does my week look like? So I am here. This is my vendor. And on Jan 1st, I place an order. Purchase order. Also called a PO. Jan second week, I could place another order, my second order. This could be for something else. Maybe I need more flour, more coffee beans. On Jan third, I place my third purchase order. Say on Jan tenth. I receive some goods and that's related to the first POSA. On Jan 12th, I receive goods for the second PO. Jan 14th, I receive the invoice or bill. Invoice is just a fancy word for bill. For the first PO. And so on and on and on. These set of activities, sending out a purchase order, receiving goods, receiving invoices, and me sending out payments, keep going on and on and on. Say after six months, I want to find out how profitable I am. So I want to understand, say, how much I have spent in total. So total spent. I also want to understand the total stock on hand. I want to understand the totals spent or paid per month, meaning how much I spent in the month of January, how much I how much I spent in the month of February, March, so on and so forth. How would I know that? It's all in your mind, meaning in my mind, maybe in some piece of paper somewhere the vendor has sent. How would I track the totals and summarize what's my financial situation? How do I solve this problem? I need to document things. Need to document. Unless I document all the different processes that are happening every day, I wouldn't be able to track things and, and, and make any meaningful analysis out of it. So here is what I'm going to do. I am going to buy four different file folders. One, two, three, and four. The first file is going to be called a PO file. The second file is called receipts. The third file is called invoices. The fourth file is called payments. Remember we had just four different processes. On week one, say on Jan 1st, I sent a PO and I'm going to take a print out of the PO that I sent and file it in this folder. It's going to say I'm sending a PO to this vendor ABC Goods or ABC Foods for so much of flour, so much of coffee beans, so much of sugar and the expected price is say $200. And on Jan 2nd, the second PO First PO, second PO, and on Jan 10th, 
I get a receipt. The vendor is going to send the receipt, right? This is going to be similar to how Amazon sends you a shipping label so that comes along with your package, right? So it says here are your products and these are the quantities. I'm going to file it in the receipts folder. Number one. And on Jan 10th or 12th, say, I get an invoice. File it here. The first invoice. On Jan 25th, I do a payment. I put it here. That's it. My problem is solved, right? What is the problem that I solved here? I just documented all the activities that I've been doing. Just put them in separate folders. Well, let's talk about the problem that we had. If I wanted to find out how much, say, coffee beans I ordered, last month. Can I answer that quickly? Yes. All I have to do is go to this file, pick up all the purchase orders that I have sent to the vendor, create in the last month, sum it up, and look for the coffee bean items, add them together. Right? Another question, how much outstanding payment do I need to provide to the vendor as of today? Can I answer that? Of course. Just go to all the invoices, any invoice paid to this vendor is going to be marked as paid, right? So this invoice is paid, this invoice is paid, this one is paid. Billing and invoicing is the same. These are two different terms. That's it. How about another question? How much coffee beans did we receive last month, say? Easy, right? Go to receipts, find out all the receipts that have been filed, look at all the coffee bean items, quantities and prices, sum them up and we have the answer. So what did we do here? We documented things and through the process of documenting, we were able to answer so many different questions. Right? And what I'm going to do at the year end is take my files, PO files, receipts, invoices, and payments. I take them to my accountant, ask him to log them, consolidate them, and finally he prepares the profit and loss statement, which is a fancy word for how much I made and lost. Of course, in that year, and what stocks do I have? And finally, prepares a tax statement. And that is going to be filed as a tax return. Simple, right? I've completed one year of business, prepared a PLL, filed the tax return, and everything is in order. Well, this will work for small companies. If I am running the show, this will work perfectly fine. 